happy Valentine's Day. My name is Kaya, and today I'm going to be giving you a treat. I'm going to be showing you how I remove my semi permanent hair color. Um, this works for me every single time, and if you want to see what I got from red or any other color, do this minus the stubbornness in the front. Stay tuned. Products that you'll need are going to be this bad boy. This is my secret ingredient, it's the BTZ color remover. The radical color remover. The next thing you're gonna need is developer. I use 20 volume developer. You can also use water, but I've never tried that before. And since I've got some roots, I'm gonna use developer because it usually processes them as well. Now this is not bleach, but it kind of sort of works like a bleach. I haven't looked at the ingredients side by side. I'm sure they've got some similar ingredients. It, from what I can tell, it's not as damaging from when I've used bleach because when my local beauty store was out of these and I had to resort to bleach, my hair was not happy with me to say the least. So I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off and then we're gonna mix this mixture up together and we're gonna get this out of my hair. Cause it was red, it was poisoned by Arctic Fox. It's been in my hair for like a month and then it didn't fade at all. So I started the stripping process and I told you how I stripped my hair in my last video, but today I'm removing this color. So this is the shortest that I've had my hair ever. This is the shortest length that I've had my hair in my entire life. So instead of doing the normal five parts where my fringe would be my five fifth part, uh, this is my fifth part. And I know it's not straight, but it doesn't really matter because the whole mixture is going on my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this process. Um, I'm just gonna grab a bowl. Doesn't really matter what kind of bowl you have, just a bowl. Actually, it does matter. No metal bowls. I think that's the only thing that matter matters. No metal. Okay. And then you're gonna open up your packet. I just did off camera because I'm a... And you're gonna pour it. That's how much we got in there. So usually I use about four packets. I have no idea how many packets I'm gonna need because my hair <laughs> isn't there anymore. I'm just gonna start with one and if I have to mix more, then I will. The next thing you're gonna need is some kind of measuring device. I don't, this is 2.96 ounces. So almost 30 ounces. So it's almost one fluid ounce. This is one part, okay? You got that, capiche. This is gonna be my even half to that part. This 30 ounces. I got this in a bleach tub and I never threw it away because I knew it would come in handy. I'm gonna mix my developer, 20 ounce, 20 volume, not ounce, bigger ounce than that. But I, um, I'm gonna pour her in there. You don't stop there though. You're gonna get some more, pour it in there. Excuse me while I wash this out because I'm gonna be responsible. The next step is going to be mixing all of this together. I'm gonna grab my little whisk and just start mixing. This is how it looks. I'm kind of scared to show you because it moves, but you can kind of see it. It's like a gray paste. It's not too watery, but it is watery. So it's not very thick if that's your kind of consistency. It might not be for you. You like that? Is that annoying you? It's annoying me. So now I'm gonna slap on my only pair of gloves. I'm gonna grab my brush. I like these brushes because they're so little. Um, I can really get in there and I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna start the process so you can watch. I don't know if you want me to show you the whole process so I'm going to speed it up and if you don't want to watch that I'm going to put a little timestamp in the description where you can just skip ahead to the next step. hard time positioning to show you me doing this side so I'll be back when I'm done with this section. I did this section. She's all saturated. Okay that's the goal. You got to keep her super saturated and then I'm gonna clip it up. So I'm gonna go to this section next and I'm going to start the process. Like I said if you want to watch it I'm gonna might do a little time lapse part of it but I don't think that you will watch it. I think you'll skip through it. So let's just start. See how it 
Adiós. The most important lesson I could teach for you is one inch sections will help it from being, you know, ugly, blotchy, spotty, you know how it is, you know how it gets. Yeah, if you don't feel it, you better feel it. It's not like it hurts or anything, but like, you know, you can feel whenever something's on your scalp. I'll see you when this section is done. I just wanted to let you know that I got about my roots done with that section and I ran out of my mixture. So I'm gonna be mixing a new one. I just thought I would let you know because of the fact that if you have thick hair like me or your hair is a similar length than me, you can kind of estimate how many you might need based on how many I use. I'll get back to you when this section's done. Okay, so I'm about to start this like, back section, but I wanted to show you my progress, and you know how it goes. I'm gonna start the section and then cut the clip, because it's boring. If it's not boring, then I'll do it again next time. Like the next time I might redo this video, or if I ever change my routine on how I get rid of my hair color, then I might redo this video. And so in the comments, let me know if you wanna see the whole process of me slabbing on the color remover. I don't think that is very entertaining, but if it is, let me know and I'll totally include it. It's up to you. Next up. I didn't even show you. Let's look at the progress real quick. It's lightning. I'll be back. Okay, so halfway through this section, not halfway, I only have two strands left, but I ran out of product. So I figured I'd show you where I'm at. I'm about to do my third packet, and I think this will be my third and final mixture. I'm just gonna mix this powder, and we're gonna act like I'm not encouraging anything bad. I just want you to live your life. And if having colorful hair makes you feel the way it makes me feel, then it. Like I said in my last video, I've had colored hair since I was in third grade. I went to an hour living concert and literally it just unlocked something in me. I felt like myself. I've always felt kind of like an outcast and whenever I have my colored hair it just makes me feel like me. So yeah, if that helps, it's not because I'm going through something crazy or I mean I'm not doing it because I'm going through something. I'm doing it because I'm ready for some change. If you see people that dye their hair, don't just assume that they're like, I don't know, unhappy. Because yesterday I said I was depressed and I am depressed, but it doesn't mean that what I do is because of that. Like I'm trying to get out of my depression. So me dyeing my hair is something that will help me. You know, it's not going to, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna make sure this that looks so strange. Do I have any more developer? Because that looks so weird. Oh boy. It doesn't say developer, it says color generator. So I'm trying to see how much of this I can get. 
it out of the bottle. I'll be back when I have a solution. I gotta find more developer. I know I have 30 volume, but I don't wanna switch volumes. I hope this doesn't mess up my hair. Should I just, I'm just gonna do 30, it's whatever. I mixed it with 20, so it's kinda like 25. I was getting a little nervous because I couldn't find my developer. I knew I had 30, like I said, but I'm out of 20. Because the stuff I had looked like conditioner. It's the Chi color generator. So I think you have to use that with Chi hair color. So I'll do that. I have a really pretty blonde that I want to try out, but that's for when I want to be blonde. And I don't want to be blonde. So buy you. Got some more product. Put it over where we put the last product because more intense now. Oh, maybe it's better that I change developers here because it needs to process faster anyway. This could definitely be split into two sections. I don't know if it can be though. It's kind of tangled. My only problem, like, why'd you tangle? How did you tangle? shampoo in your hair but obviously that's not what it is should be. You should have enough product to cover your whole entire, you know, hair. All of it. And once it's covered, put the more on. Don't stop there. Because you're trying to remove color, you want it to fully absorb into that hair shell.
did on the back. How are we looking back here? Peachy, just peachy. Love it, okay. Now I'm gonna do this section. And don't yell at me, but I'm gonna put some more right here. I might need to make one more, just so I can fully saturate it, because I'm, I feel like the front's not fully saturated, and that is obviously not what we want. We want it to be done, so I might have to do another round of mixture. So the way I usually do my hair, or like anything like this, is I'll go around and I'll do my roots first. Kind of to cover everything. Mainly because I want them to start processing now because they're the darkest thing on my head. Even though they're like dirty blonde. They look brown, so I need it to go ASAP. That's why I start on my roots. Usually you wouldn't start on your roots. I'll be right back whenever I'm done mixing. You know what? I'm just gonna stay. Why not? This is why you don't just do the top layer, okay? You have to do the bottom half. You understand? The whole top layer right there has been covered, but the bottom half She's about to change. Oh boy, got it in my eyebrow. I'm about to mix my fourth mixture. I ran out. Ran out. Now this one is going to be just purely 30 volume, which I think is going to be okay because it's just going to be the last section I'm doing, which means I want it to process faster anyway, so yeah, I'm just doing it. Pick up my giant tub of 30 volume developer. I say giant, I mean this thing is huge. How, what, what is this? Four liters. Bam. Mix, 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 mix. It helps if you have a whisk because these things have little crystals in them and it really kind of takes a little while if you're trying to whisk it without the little, mix it without the whisk. I saw a piece right up here that I want to just touch up. I kind of want to just touch up everywhere right here too. Put some more product there. Make sure that she's lightening, you know? Now we're going to continue on with this section. Did literally the first half. Not even the first half, the first little piece. We didn't even finish it. I'm glad I have enough product. I literally had only five packets, so. I'm glad I cut my hair. I would not have had enough to do my whole head, that's for sure. Yeah, the things that I'm using are a little pricey, but it gets the job done. I think that is really what matters. I don't care about how much it costs, as long as it doesn't damage my hair does what it's supposed to, remove the color. Hair's so thick, you guys, you have no idea. So we're gonna flip her over. All right, all right. One thing I want to say that um, 
if you're gonna be using this product, like trying it out for the first time, if it is, I think before I was rudely interrupted by my SIM card, I was telling you that if you want to try this product out for yourself, I would just recommend that you do a strand test, just because you should do that anytime you do a new product on your head anyway. If you have an allergic reaction to it once it's all over your head, one, what a waste of time and money, two, then you don't have to deal with one, I don't know, it could hurt, it could up your whole head, you never know. I always recommend to do a strand test. Please, nobody ever does strand tests. And since I've used this before, I wasn't gonna do one, but if I ever find a new product or if I ever try something new, yeah, you'll see me doing a strand test. You should do it. Even if it takes an extra 30 minutes out of your day, do it. It's better than wasting two hours of time on your hair for it not to process or anything. So now that I have all of the products in my hair, I'm just gonna do what I do every time. I grab a little bit on my fingertips and a little bit is a lot. You kind of just grab the strand everything that I just dyed, well, removed, and twist it to a little bun so it can keep its moisture. And then I have some leftover product, so I'm going to go through every section and make sure I got everything, because I remember in this section I was running out of product, smack myself in the eyeball. Just better to be safe than sorry, you know? Topping it off with some 30 volume, maybe it will process a little bit faster. I've never actually switched in the middle of dyeing my hair, nor have I ever used 30 volume with this stuff, so we'll see how it goes. extra bit and just plop it all over my hair. I don't care about this sweater. That's why I wore it. I was kind of hoping I would mess it up so that I could make it cool. Just a boring white sweater that I had in my closet, you know? Let's check on the back. It looks so good. Lightning so well. But I saw a piece back here. to be a little bit lighter. dry. So we're gonna put a plastic cap on, but that'll be in a minute. Thank you. 
All right, so I'm gonna check back in with you whenever I am completely done with this, when I wash it out. And actually, I'm gonna make sure I get my widow's peak, you guys. I have a widow's peak. I missed it last time I dyed my hair. I'm not gonna lie to you. Make sure I get it this time. All this shit that's right in the front, I miss it all the time. I'm actually gonna go now. So I'll see you right before I wash it out so you can see what it looks like. Maybe in 30 minutes, maybe in 45, we'll see. So I'm about to wash it out. Go on, I look cute with my little scrunchie. And my little plastic bag that I wanted to show you. What I'm looking like. So we've got like peachy hair with blonde roots. That's where we're at. And I'm happy with that. So I'm about to wash it out. So as you can see, my hair is pretty much blonde. There's some pink tones in it, but I'm okay with that. I don't really have a problem with that at all. You might, and if you do, that's where the next step comes in. You can always redo this. Um, you could wait a day, um, but I usually don't just because I like to get that stuff over with. Always recommended to do like a deep conditioner afterwards. Maybe sleep with some oil in your roots to keep that moisture in your hair just because it will dry your hair out. But anything that's going to be stripping your color will do that. And this is way better than that smell of like eggs. Like, what is it? What is it? Spoiled eggs? Is that what you call it? Bad egg smell from the color oops stuff. This doesn't smell like that. This just smells like hair product. Like developer, I guess. My developer smells good. So get good smell on developer and you'd be okay. Anyways, I'll be back when this dries. It looks pretty good. There's still some pink, like I said, but that is okay. I'm really happy with how it came out. Remember what it looked like? That was scary. <laughs> okay, so I decided I'm gonna try to get this a little bit lighter, the pink part. It's really only in the front and there's a little bit in the back, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this out. I'm going to probably not show you because this video is getting a little long and I'm gonna come back and show you the final product. But this time I'm using water. That's the only difference. And it looks disgusting. It looks disgusting. Okay, she looks gross. But I'm about to put this all over my hair. Wish me luck. I've never done this before. Okay, I'll be back. Just wanted to let you know I wasn't leaving you like this. Even though it looks good, it doesn't look good. <laughs> First impressions, I prefer it with developer. Um, it feels really weird. I don't really think it'll do anything, but we'll see. I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes and I'll check back with you and hopefully I'll be all blonde. But if not, it's okay because I'm gonna dye my hair anyway. With It'll, it'll get covered perfectly, don't worry, you'll see. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I will be posting on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday every week. So just look forward to next week's video because that's when I'll be showing you my hair color. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. I just wanted to say that I'm gonna wait for my hair to dry and then I'm gonna give you the finished result. But as of right now, this is what we're looking like. Pretty blonde if I say so myself but we'll see when it fully dries. I know there's a little bit right here, but I can tone that out real easy. This is our final result. I'm gonna tone this off camera because there's a thousand of those videos on here and you don't need to see me doing all that. So I'm gonna do that off camera, but I figured I would show you the whole shebang. That's what we're looking like. We got kind of some orange in there, but that's okay. Maybe a little bit of pink right there, but that's okay. I can maybe tone that out. Maybe scrub it out with my stripping method. I don't know. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I will have more videos coming next week. I plan on posting on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday every week. So stay tuned for that. I'll be dyeing my hair next week for sure. And the rest, I'll leave a mystery. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.